In college, I studied psychology until my junior year, and then I realized I wasn't really doing what I wanted to be doing, which was art. So I switched my major at the end of my junior year and decided to be an art major with um, a psychology minor. And I still graduated on time and I pulled it off, but I have a bachelor's um, in fine art focused in painting. My sister was, she went to Flagler and she was friends with Zay and his friend Jay. Well, she ended up marrying his best friend Jay and the whole time she was there, she's like, Jenna, you have to meet this guy. He's like, he's a surfer, he's tall, he's cute, he's funny. I was like, you know I have a boyfriend, right? She's like, no, no, I know, I don't care. I don't like this guy, you, you need to marry this guy. So we ended up meeting four years later. She was telling him the same thing. We met at their wedding and from then on, we just started dating. At the time when we met, I was living in Deland, which is a great, awesome town. Um, but, you know, he's been in here his whole life. He has a lot of support up here, and I always love St. Augustine. So we got married and I moved up. I do a lot of art, and some people walk into the shop and they're a little confused, like, so who does this stuff? And over here, what's this? And I just raise my hand for everything. It's me, yes, I'm a little, um, I wouldn't say scattered because it's all in the art realm, but I do enjoy working with a lot of different mediums, like, my favorite is oil painting. I love doing oil painting portraits. I also just started doing watercolors, which I really like. But yeah, I'm a photographer, so I shoot weddings, you know, family portraits. I work with businesses and help pull out their brand. Um, maternity, newborn, you name it. Um, but it really goes hand in hand because a lot of my portraits and artwork are, you know, I work from photography, from photos. So. You know, a lot of the portraits I end up taking end up turning into a painting, which is pretty cool. I feel like everyone's always like, so when did you start, you know, drawing and painting and doing all this? And I always say from the womb, because I think it's just in me. You know, I've always wanted to do that and I've done it since I was little and I love doing it. It's my favorite thing to do is just get plugged in and like with good music and coffee and I have my easel or I have you know, my art pad and, or, you know, get behind the camera. I feel like I was born to do that. It sounds so stupid, but I just, that's what I'm supposed to be doing and I'm doing it and, you know, people are supporting me and that is a good feeling. Um, I think, you know, creating art, it helps me be able to communicate with people in a different way. And I really enjoy doing that. And I love seeing my clients' faces when they get their piece back or their photos back or whatever it is and and so it's neat being able to transform something like that and or something like you know if someone passes away and you get to draw their portrait like that is so meaningful to me and I love being a part of stuff like that and even stuff you know silly as Christmas cards illustrating a family little character cartoon sketches to see the people you know and for families if you have five kids think about the headache dressing them up for pictures that just stresses me out so, you know, it's so fun to see moms just be able to, okay, I want her wearing boots and a shirt and this and that. And then all of a sudden, you know, a week later, they see their family come to life on a piece of paper. And that's awesome. It's no headache for them. And it's a different medium that they haven't, you know, been able to see yet. So it's pretty cool. I love being a part of, you know, capturing moments that are gonna pass away because, you know, in 10 years, you might not remember that, but if it's captured in a photograph or in a sketch or illustration, you know, you'll be able to savor that and keep that forever. Sometimes it would be awesome to, you know, dream about living in LA or New York or Miami and getting in the scene, you know, and doing everything in a big city and, you know, building my career and doing that. But honestly, I think about it and it sounds great, but I really, love being in St. Augustine. I love having family here. I love, I have my career, which is a lot of my life, but the other part of my life is my family and I love my family. And I feel like if I completely pursued my career and, you know, tried to go big out in the big city, it would be, I would be neglecting my family. And that's more than, that really is my world. <laughs>